Hey, what's happening guys? This is Shukesh. Well, if you're considering landing on any of these Samsung flagships, I think this comparison video is really very, very important. You should watch it carefully. If you thought S9 and S9 Plus are basically the same devices with different screen sizes, then I'm afraid to say they are not. I have found S9 is actually uh, much more inferior to S9 Plus considering just the price tag difference of 7000 rupees that is 120 dollars s9 plus is a much more reasonable device to buy you might be considering s9 because it's compact ergonomic to hold and also it's cheaper but just tell me isn't s9 is basically s8 with dual stereo speakers i mean there is no significant difference in between s8 and s9 just a variable aperture lens at the back uh, the upgrade of the processor 835 to 845 is nothing notable and if you are already using s8 of course you are gonna skip s9 you will either upgrade to s9 plus or galaxy note 8 if you are into compact devices you either stick to s8 or switch to some other brand now on the other hand s9 plus is an all-in-one perfect flagship you can upgrade to unless of course you are using galaxy note 8 but since it's an upgrade to S8 Plus and you have got dual cameras at the back and most importantly the 64 gig version has got 6 gig of RAM you won't have to pay extra and 6 gig RAM makes a huge difference actually in terms of RAM management and also the performance of the phones which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Now let's first talk about the displays, though there is a good difference in size of the displays 6.2 versus 5.8, there is no way you can tell any difference in the resolution, WQHD Plus is already overkill for a smartphone, 570 ppi versus 529 ppi, both are much more higher than our retina threshold, so I really don't want to give extra credit to S9 for having slightly more ppi than S9 Plus. Now regarding handling well I would definitely go for S9 because S9 Plus is considerably a big device but fortunately unlike Note 8 you have the fingerprint sensor exactly at the place where your index finger rests and uh, still I will say S9 Plus is not that much ergonomic unless you get used to this and uh, I'm personally a OnePlus 5T user upgrading to S9 Plus and uh, for me it's not a big issue actually but still it might be too big for some people the weight of this phone is 189 gram and s9 weighs just 163 gram but still i would say within few days you will get used to this form factor now here is the most crucial part the deciding factor Though it's already 2018, Samsung has decided to stick to 4G RAM for their flagship S9 having 58,000 rupees price tag, $720 and it's insane, it's a mistake I would say. Even 10 or 12,000 rupees phones feature 4G RAM and don't forget that it's a Samsung device with intense UI, lots of software features and out of 4 gig, you have really very small amount of RAM for the applications, especially games and as a result the overall performance of S9 is inferior to S9 Plus, especially the RAM management of S9 is really below par, I have made a speed test in between S9 and S9 Plus, please check that video you will Will be really shocked to see how bad is the RAM management on S9. I really don't understand why Samsung sticked to the 4G RAM model when they have devices at 30,000 rupees price bracket having 6 gig RAM. I'm not telling S9 is a low performing device, it's not slow, it's not laggy at all, in fact it can handle all the games and applications you can find on the play store without any issue. But as far as RAM performance that is, the multitasking is concerned, this S9 cannot even handle 3 or 4 games in the background at a time. If you are a heavy gamer, if you want to do multitasking, this might not be the device for you and I have also noticed that once you open couple of applications, S9 becomes considerably slower than S9+. High graphics games load slower on S9, almost 
all the time and please check the speed test i will drop the link in the description below if you are paying top price why compromise in the ram department as you can see s9 plus loaded asphalt 8 before s9 of course having smaller ram means less applications in the background that means less battery drainage since S9 could accommodate just a 3000 mAh battery, Samsung decided to stick to 4 gb RAM at the cost of performance and multitasking. That's why I'm telling you guys just pay $120 more, get S9 Plus, it's a flawless device I will say. Here in this game as well, S9 Plus is somewhat faster than S9, so why compromise? The next big difference is of course the dual camera setup at the back of S9 Plus which is for 2x telephoto zoom and also for live focus that is the background blur so you can capture more eye catching professional looking portraits with S9 Plus it's a premium feature all the smartphones are now getting dual camera setup but here we have the S9 a flagship with 58,000 rupees price tag with a boring single camera. There is of course digital zoom on S9 at the cost of quality and details. I'm gonna capture some images and will show you the sample side by side. Well I don't know whether you can see any difference or not on your mobile phone or monitor but there is slight difference in quality and sharpness. So if you want to take a really close up image of a subject without losing the quality, S9 Plus is the device you can rely on. In addition to that, you can make the background of the subject really blur. It's really really beautiful to look at, especially for portraits. You won't need a DSLR camera with pricey big aperture prime lenses to do that. It's a vital feature people nowadays look for in a smartphone. So that's another compromise. If you want a compact device, you need to let go the dual camera setup, 2GB extra RAM and if you want all these things, you have to deal with a bigger device. Now the bigger Galaxy S9 Plus could accommodate a bigger battery 3500 mAh lithium ion versus 3000 mAh battery inside S9 and uh, I have found that the battery backup of S9 Plus is somewhat better than S9 despite having a bigger display. So if you are paying extra, you are also getting a little bit extra juice. So it's another important factor we need to consider. So comparing S9 and S9 Plus, I would say if the price of S9 Plus is 65,000 rupees, the price of S9 should be around 50,000 rupees, not more than that since you are losing so many options and for 50,000 rupees I would definitely suggest S9. But S9 Plus is an all-in-one, the flawless device you can go for if you want true flagship experience and bigger display is of course preferable for watching movies, playing games, reading books. So I think I made my statement clear, S9 is not a real upgrade from S8, S9 Plus is and if you are considering these Samsung flagships, definitely go for the bigger brother. That's all for now guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you found this video informative and useful. I'm gonna make a final user experience review of these devices pretty soon. Check the description of this video for the speed test. Don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day guys.